Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is the Jeff Crilly Show. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my show. I am so excited. Uh, joining me today is Leslie O'Hare. She's a celebrity interview, interviewed many uh, rich and famous, and uh, also uh, Patrick Walker. He is uh, the owner of the franchise of Expedia Cruise Ship Centers in Frisco. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Thank you for having me. It's very exciting to be here. Absolutely. Well, everybody loves to travel, and I understand that on Wednesday of this week, it's going to be snowing. So <laughs> <laughs> thoughts will turn to travel. So let's get, let's get an expert to tell us uh, the travel agent is back. Absolutely. The travel agent is back um, for a, a lot of reasons. I'm assuming we'll get into those. Yeah. Uh, well, we've got a little video that we uh, took off of your, uh, your company's website about uh, uh, cruising. I mean, cruising really has never been hotter, has it, Patrick? Oh, this it's going gangbusters. Uh, one stat we like to say is they're building 100 new ships in the next eight years. And what is it just the, the ease of knowing that you don't have to plan, uh, you know, hotel reservations and restaurant reservations, you just get on the boat? The, the ease and also the cost, it, it seems like a big sticker price at first, but if you consider five-star meals three times a day, free entertainment, um, your floating hotel, you only have to unpack once. There's just a lot of reasons that cruising is just a great vacation for couples or families. Leslie, I know you like love to travel. What, what are some questions you have? You know, when you think about traveling, we talked off camera a second ago that women are one of your biggest buyers. Mm -hmm. And why is that? Why do you think that they make the biggest <laughs> decisions? Um, some of it is the guys are just kind of happy to go anywhere if the lady's coming along and mm -hmm. <laughs> families that just it's like upwards of 80% of travel decisions for couples or families are made by the, the ladies. I know there's a misconception that a travel agent costs you money. Uh, it actually saves you money, doesn't it? Great, great question. Yes. Um, if you went to a website for the celebrity cruise like we just saw, my price would be the exact same, if not cheaper. A lot of times we have group pricing. You don't need to bring a group. It's just our prices are less because Expedia corporate, you know, pre-bought 100,000 rooms two years ago. Yes. I also like the idea that you never want to get trapped in some country where you don't speak the language and right. they messed up your hotel reservation. You had a story that you were telling us about, uh, you know, a, a, a traveler you helped. Yeah, it was a good story. It was a good, a little good PR for Carnival Cruise Line as well. They had a, a mechanical malfunction on the ship and this guy's cruise got canceled and they gave him a 100% refund, which is right. But they also gave everybody a future free cruise. And he came in the door panicking. He had next week off. He needed a vacation next week. And he wasn't mad at Carnival because they gave him a refund. I'm like, read closer. They gave you a refund and a free cruise. And so we're able to help him use that, get him on a cruise. So he had a free family vacation that year. That's great advice. So when you think about vacationing, when we talk about couples, sometimes mm -hmm. they don't want to go where there's children on the cruise. <laughs> so how do you identify what is the best cruise, uh, the time of year for them and the best cruise ship for a couple to travel on if they're not looking to be around children? A great, great question. Um, one, you can just hedge your bets. If you go while the kids are in school, there are going to be less. You can go on a, a longer cruise. There's less kids. Um, a more subdued, it, like if there's not big water slides and stuff, there's going to be less kids. Right. Or there's a few out there. Um, Virgin Voyages is launching their cruise line in April. 
No kids allowed. Really? Yeah. Wow. I'm going in July if anybody wants to go along with me on Richard Branson's birthday party. I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> he will be on board having his birthday party. No yeah. kidding. Yeah. That's really cool. Well, I, I, I know you you do more than just cruises. Uh, let's let's talk about travel to China because mm-hmm. obviously that's in the news right now. Oh yeah. Uh, has that affected your industry at all? It has. Our, our personal one, we've only canceled a couple of cruise lines, and again they're very upfront about it and the refunds and helping the client find something else. And there's just a whole world out there. It may mess up one little one, but there's enough places to go in the world that it hasn't affected it too bad. Um, you know, obviously we don't like anything negative, but the cruise lines react quick. The travel agencies react quick. Um, in this case, there's travel insurance, but a lot of people didn't need it because when they cancel something, there's no claim because they refund everything. Right. How about millennials? I, I've been told that uh, millennials are all about the Instagram yeah. and, and is it, you know how photogenic is the trip? Oh. Uh, <laughs> does, does that affect it? Yeah. I need to get better at it. So it, <laughs> if because a lot of travel is beauty and there's amazing places to see, but it's pretty funny. You'll go on a cruise ship or you'll go to a resort and there'll be a little X on the ground, great Instagram spot. And I'm like, right. I figure this out. And, but it is um oh there's the places in the world that just amazing to see and people want to take pictures and remember it and Instagram and it's perfect for that. That's really good and so when you talk about millennials mm-hmm. do you find that more of them are wanting to get out and travel and get on the cruise ships? Yes um, the Europe Europeans have always had it figured out and we're slowly catching up mm-hmm. to the, the experience over things we the um, you don't remember what you got for Christmas when you were 10, but you right. remember the family vacation when you were 10. Exactly. Yeah. And what's the most frequent vacation spot for a millennial? Um, just the cruising millennials are as far as where they go. Uh-huh, where they for go. us here in Dallas, Galveston is easy because you drive and right. you can save on the flights. But they um, they like Europe. They do, okay. Mm-hmm. And there's, um, you th- there's a river cruise company that's made just for millennials. You think really? of a, it's a higher price ticket, you think it would be an older crowd, but it's... Um, it's black boat with neon lights and mixology classes. Oh, wow. And when you go to these European cities, you're not going to the art museum unless you want to. Right. They'll go to the local club. And so it's kind of neat. That's exciting yeah. for them. Yeah. Well, and I know uh, the boomers are living longer. They have more disposable income. The stock market is doing well. Uh, you probably are coming off of a banner year. Uh, we, we did. Uh, we made our president circle and the, the corporate's calling me, congratulating me, saying, hey, don't you want a second location? I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, the, um, the stock market and they have time and income to travel and um, we even see some of them buying travel for their whole family, their kids and their grandkids and so that's always fun. And so when we talk about Expedia cruise ships mm-hmm. and Expedia the company, mm-hmm. how is that related to each other? Um, and in a way of speaking, Expedia.com is my competition. Okay. Even though if you go high enough, it's the same company, um, but we like their buying power so we can save you on some prices and some of the technology that I don't have to worry about because they do it, which makes it really nice for me. I can just focus on the magic. Right, right. Yeah. Making magic happen. Yes. <laughs> uh, Patrick, we're going to put up your website, and I want you to give us the domain name. Um, is, is it the... Um, we're using that one you see on the screen f- yes. just for our expo coming up Okay. to give people information about the... The, um, the suppliers that will be there and the breakout sessions. My main website is just cruiseshipcenters.com okay. slash Frisco. Okay. Oh, that's easy. That's easy yeah. enough. Yeah. Well, you have been a great guest. And Leslie, thank you so much for, for helping uh, interview Patrick. Thank uh, you for having me. Yeah, we'll have oh, to Oh, thank you very much for having me. And um, Outstanding. Yeah, it was a good time. All right. We'll see you soon.